Hello everyone. Till in another videos, we discussed about what is voice analytics and some of the functions of voice analytics. Today, I'm here to discuss about one of the best features of voice analytics. And I'm Nandini of CSNE department, Bapuji Institute of Engineering and Technology, Davenge. Today, I'm going to discuss about speaker diarization And in this, we are going to learn about what is speaker diarization, its application, difficulties, and steps for acquiring service account key description and steps of diarization, steps to perform in Python or Python IDE terminal, and steps to execute the Google Cloud. First, let's start with speaker diarization. It answers the main question: who speaks when? And what is speaker diarization? Then the process of partitioning an input audio screen into homogeneous segments according to speaker identity. And here audio analyzed, which consists of non-speech, speaker A, over-talking A and B, and speaker B. And it is divided into an output audio of channel one, channel two, and channel three on the basis of speakers, as speaker A, speaker B, and a disguided one. And here comes the applications of speaker diarization. Speaker diarization is required in many applications like audio indexing and speaker verification and identification preprocessing. In audio indexing, we go with broadcast news and telephone conversation. And some of the difficulties of speaker diarizations are short speech utterances, noisy environments, and high number of involved speakers and even a speakers with similar voice. And here comes a speech data are often non-Gaussian and one person may speak more oftenly. Overlapping speech creates connections between clusters and intergender differences are large. And here comes a typical speaker diarization system where a raw audio signal is passed into a speech detection system and it segments it into a different parts and after that it is sent into a cluster where the segmented and clustered utterances occurs and here comes the three people who speak simultaneously but after a diarizationization task it is divided into speaker one speaker two and speaker three and next comes a uh, steps of diarization. here in steps of diarization we speaks about audio track, segmentation, and cluttering. And here, a feature extraction, speech activity detection is done. And speaker diarization, consists in answering the question, who spoke when, for a given conversation in telephone call, meeting, or broadcast news, without any prior information about neither the audio nor the speakers. A speaker diarization task emerged as a way to optimize audio information retrieval processing by detecting and tracking speech and speaker information. And here in feature extraction, it extracts the feature and speech activation detection is done. And later it is segmented into different parts as you can see here and the cluttering occurs. And we get the diarizationization rhythm output finally. And it is about a speech sample where a raw sample is converted into a processed speech. A speech sample which is pre-processed and feature extraction is done. A later a speech activation detection, it separates the slice and non-slice audible sound. And next, a segment the speech frames and makes the clusters of similar segments. Segmentation and cluttering occurs interactively. And here are the few steps to execute the Google Cloud speech diarization rhythm are as follows. First one, create a Google account with Google Cloud. And next, create a project. And the third one, to acquire the key, go to the service account key page. And finally, the steps for acquiring service account key. And here comes, from the service account drop-down list, select new service account and enter a name into a service account name field. From the role drop down list, select project owner. And finally, click create a JSON file that contains your key downloads to your computer. And here is a Google service account key, which looks like it consists of service account name, role, and the service account ID, and JSON file is must. 
and here we are going to discuss about the steps to performing python or python ide terminal pip install google cloud pip install google cloud speech and finally before executing the program export the json file and for linux and youtube this is the procedure and finally for windows powershell and for the files that are less than one minute it is easy to identify if we are working with small files we can upload it directly from local machines for files that are greater than one machines audio longer than one minute must use the uri field references and audio field in google cloud storage you have to first upload the audio file you want to use in a google cloud storage bucket and ensure that you credentials that you will be running with have a storage dot objects dot get as his permission to the objects and the service account information such as mail id and key id is must and here comes the output which gives a source file transfer id word in sentences start stop and speaker tag and finally the separate the sentences which is done on the basis of source file transcript id word in sentences start stop speaker tag and sentence id the sentence is separated on the basis of and then with regards to and etc and creating a individual sentences it creates an individual sentences with sentence id and tag a speakers and number of speakers and the starting time of the sentence and the stop time of the sentence is displayed here and this was all about speaker diarization and now it's time for you to answer these questions what is speaker diarization rization what are the applications of speaker diarization list fields where diarization rations is used what are the steps of speaker diarization and thank you for watching this video